So we're actually heading to Chicago later today. We're just gonna be there for one day for a meeting, but I've gotta go talk to Lori. It's, uh, it's gonna be serious. Lori, do you have time to talk a serious talk? Huh? I don't have all day. Well, I, I don't have all day either. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is a serious conversation I need to have with you. About what? Okay, so we're leaving for Chicago, and I want to know like what the best thing about traveling with me is. Like, what do you love about it, and what do you hate about traveling with me? You don't, you don't want to know this. Why? What do you hate about it? <laughs> is there anything you like about traveling with me? I mean, you're the one with a camera on my face trying to get truth. Or wait, no, you want me to tell them what you want me to tell them. Yeah, then I'm wonderful. Tell, tell me something good. By the way, I can save you 15% on car insurance if you're interested. That's why. Um. So, okay, let's start with the great. What's, so, what's amazing about traveling with me? You're so unpredictable. So unpredictable? That's great. All right, and what's the worst thing? There is no worst thing. Oh, okay, good. All right, so that's good. You did good, Lord. All right, thank you. <laughs> See you later. All right, so we're heading out to Chicago in just a few hours. So Mango is actually a year old, and I'm not going to lie to you. He is definitely not the size I'd like him to be at a year old. If you remember, we actually broke his tail off when he got behind the backdrop about a year ago, and then he really stunted, and it seemed like all of his energy went into the actual regeneration of the tail, and the tail actually looks relatively good, to be totally honest with you, but after he even regenerated the tail, for some reason, he just always looked thin. He just didn't seem to quite be thriving the way we wanted to. He would eat and stuff like that, but he didn't look like chunky like that, right? And we were like, what is going on? And this just goes to show you that no matter how much experience you have, you know, you still learn things, right? Hey, I'm not the smartest guy around. I need to learn things. So I started asking a bunch of my friends, and to be totally honest with you, I think we had him a little bit too warm. You can see his enclosures, a lot of water. He's got lots of places to go, and he can climb on things, get away from the water, all that type of stuff. But the truth was the basking light was probably about 105, 110 degrees. We thought that that would be good for him, but the truth is, is that since we dropped the temperature down until they say low 90s, he's plumped up a bunch, looks completely good, and it's even started to grow. So again, I think we may have solved the riddle of what was going on with Mango. And again, it just goes to show you, no matter how long you've been doing things, you can still make mistakes. And thankfully, we rectified that mistake before it was too dangerous for Mango. Now, I think that we have a pretty good opportunity to get Mango big. He's gonna be absolutely wonderful, and I told you where he's gonna go next. And of course, that place would be Salt and Pepper's enclosure right here. Now, I'd really like to have a pair of them to be totally honest with you and of course we would do more foliage and more climbing so that they could get around you know obviously alligators don't climb trees right or at least they don't normally climb trees whereas mango would climb trees so we'll put some more branches and stuff like that so when salt and pepper gets their new enclosures in the expansion mango and hopefully a girlfriend for him can come here and live in this enclosure because i think it would be an absolutely wonderful display and they could live their whole life in it and by the way welcome to the vlog reptile army i hope the start of your day is absolutely amazing this Snake Invader shirt is becoming one of my favorites, and we actually have eight or ten designs about to drop in the next week, week and a half. So go over to ReptileArmy.com, make sure you represent, join the movement, and get ready for the next drop. It's going to be an autumn drop, we're going to have a Halloween drop, a Thanksgiving drop, and then a huge Christmas drop. So we're super excited about the future of Reptile Army, so go to ReptileArmy.com. You got it, Jay. You got it. Why would you... I figured this was going to break me. So today, guys, we're going to get out butterscotch. We're going to clean her up. What else are we doing? Okay, so we're going to... I don't... Mike, I don't Why know. Why don't you just keep it on shower? Okay, so we're going to let this fill up. And we're getting out butterscotch. Misty Mike's favorite. We're not doing it. Wham! I'm just doing it, Mike. Are you ready? Mike, I'm doing it. Jay, get off the house. Mike, I'm doing it. Get it, Jay. Get it. Probably get like a snake hook or something, Mike. A freaking ladder. Do something, please. Who got this guy hired here? You have no power over me. Ew! I was like, what is this hard thing? And it was just a big thing of poop. <laughs> Don't you dare! Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> Don't throw a fake rabbit. She's looking at me too. <laughs> Mike, 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 I love you. Okay, come on, give her head to me. Come on, let's go right now. Mike, come on! Wait, 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 stop talking. Wham! <laughs> Is that what's gonna happen? Baby. 
the <laughs> look of fear in your ass. Oh my god. Oh! No, 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 not yet. Yeah, not yet. No, she can't go in yet. Her body's not even in there. Michael! You're good. Okay. And then I'm gonna leave Mike to clean this. at it in the kitchen with my friends over at HelloFresh. I love these guys. You guys know I've been using them for two plus years. I use them every single week. And we have three options today. We've got the white cheddar Wonder Burgers. We've got the citric pork tacos. I've had these before, absolutely wonderful. Uh, cherry balsamic chicken, had this before too, love that. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and make the white cheddar Wonder Burgers today. And again, let's just see what we have in here. Again, everything is pre-packaged, everything is right here, so that you don't have to waste your time going to the store and all of that type of stuff. These guys have so many meal options, it's not even funny. A white cheddar Wonder Burger. I am starved. So uh, I hope you guys are going to get hungry because trust me, this is going to be good. HelloFresh offers a wide variety of quick meal options like 20 minute dinners or even oven ready pizzas. Increase your HelloFresh box size so that you can easily use leftovers for kids or adult lunches like Annie's Cheddar Bunny, cinnamon Rolls, String Cheese, and more. HelloFresh offers so many recipe options to choose from each week to help you break out of your recipe rut. HelloFresh makes living healthier, easier with mini low-cal, carb-smart, vegetarian, and even prescatarian options every week. Plus, every recipe is packed with fresh produce sourced directly from farmers. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and prepping so you can enjoy cooking and getting the dinner on the table in about 30 minutes or even 20 minutes with their quick and easy options. The average trip to the grocery store takes 41 minutes. With HelloFresh, you can skip those trips and get everything you need to make chef-curated meals delivered to your door. HelloFresh pre-proportioned ingredients means there's less prep for you and less wasted food. The packaging HelloFresh uses to ship your food in is almost entirely made up of recyclable and or already recycled content. And now of course my favorite time of doing this. That's a burger right there. The this fries. Mm, every time guys, it is ridiculous. I love it. I'm such a good chef. No, really HelloFresh made me a good chef and it can make you a good chef. Go to HelloFresh.com. Use my promo code 14 B, and you can get 14 free meals including free shipping. That's right, HelloFresh.com using my promo code 14 B, and you can get 14 free meals including free shipping. I have a kind of interesting clutch because it's cool genetically to explain to you guys. It's actually a Woma Lesser pin bred to a pastel crystal. Now the pastel crystal is pastel, it's special, it's Mojave. Of course then we have a Woma Lesser pin. Interesting enough, we already have a little white baby crawling out of the egg. Now that white baby actually comes from the special and lesser. So when there's a special Mojave, you can actually get a crystal snake. When it's a special and a lesser, you get a white snake. Now, to make things even more complicated, the Mojave is also bred to a lesser and produce a blue-eyed leucistic. So we don't know if this is actually a special lesser or a Mojave lesser. I know I confuse you guys, but let's jump in and see what else is in this clutch. And almost every egg in this clutch is cut, so it's definitely ready to come out of the egg. And interestingly enough, we have a little, it's actually a jigsaw ball python in this first egg. Let's move on to egg number two. See what we got here. I don't know if we're gonna get anything really crazy or not. I'm just not really sure. And what we have here is actually a lemon blast special. Now what you gotta remember is the allelic nature of the Mojave and the special for the crystal means that everything is either Mojave or special, right? So we know that this is a lemon blast and we know that it's not a Mojave, so it has to be a special, right? So let's just uh, keep on moving on. And that's the way the allelic stuff works, is it actually is that it'll always come out. This is another one here. Again, another little jigsaw. Looks like it's something else. Looks like a jigsaw, but it's a really reduced pattern one, so I don't know. It's still a really beautiful animal. We already know this is a white snake. We actually know this one right here is also a white snake because I actually could see in it. Again, don't know if this is gonna be a special lesser or a Mojave Lesser. Typically the special lessers will have a little bit of pattern to it. So these are both patternless. I'm, I'm pretty sure these are Mojave Lessers. At least I'm kind of sure. Anyways, two more eggs to go. All right, what do we have here? Another white snake. Looks again like a Mojave and a Lesser to be totally honest with you. One last egg to go. Let's see what we have here. Okay, it looks like just probably a pastel special. 
to wrap it up. Definitely some really cool little babies. I can't wait till they hatch out and kind of see for sure if they're a lesser Mojave or if they're a lesser special. And just like learning with mango, we have to learn about fish too, right? We've had the fish spot for like a year and a half now and they were doing great. And then about a month or so ago, we lost all of our fish. All of the gear of fish, the gear of fish actually died and we didn't know why. Well, sure enough, we found out that the ammonia spiked really high and nothing will kill fish quicker than ammonia spikes, right? And so we lost all those animals and it's taken us a month to get the water quality back to where we wanted to do. So I'm excited that today we've got some more in. We've got 200 gear in right now. So we have them floating right now, acclimating. You want to acclimate those fish for, you know, a good half hour, 45 minutes so that the temperature of the water in here and the temperature in the bag are the same so you don't shock the fish. Then we can let them go and then let's hopefully we can get back to doing some fish spots because I sure miss them. Mike cleaned it. My main man. Yeah. Misty Mike here. Good no, job. Animals don't. So Mikey cleaned it. We're gonna go ahead and put butterscotch back in here and uh yeah, here we go. To make sure the shed's off of her. Oh, excuse me, I'm being told what to do. Sorry. You gotta make sure all the sheds off of her, but I thought Mikey already did that part. I thought I did too. Yeah, we're good. You think something not professional? Yeah, do Oh my god. It's not really that I'm weak, I'm just really scared. Oh god, Mike. Mike, they're facing there. Mike, they're facing there. Mike, they're facing there. My shoulders are sore. I did shoulders at the gym yesterday. Mike, stop talking and just put her in there. <laughs> She's wet. Oh Good my word. god. Will somebody call the professionals? Mike, put her in there. <laughs> there we go. This is how it always goes. Is she in? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, put her in there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, we're professionals, so. Boom. Next time. Yeah. I know it's been a minute since we've given you an update on the new Caledonia room, and it's basically in the same uh place it was about a month and a half ago. Basically what we're doing is we're waiting for Universal Rock backdrops. Uh, they have just been slammed down there so they are shipping. It's supposed to be here literally any day. Within the next two or three days we're supposed to have those. But in the meantime Jessica is using the backdrops that we have and starting to foam them in and she's actually going to do the first enclosure today and actually plant it out and stuff like that. So uh, I, I can't wait to see what she does. Eventually this is all going to be out here. And by the way uh, watch out Tanner at Serpa Design and Will Nays. Jessica's coming for you. The truth is to be totally honest with you we're hoping we get Tanner and Will here to do some of these uh, cool enclosures for the new Caledonia room. Been talking with them. I can't wait till they come and actually do it. It'll be really fun. But in the meantime, Jessica's going to go ahead and get this one planned out. Should look amazing. Another one of those pumpkin male bread ball pythons that has a clutch here. This is actually an Enchi Woma ball python. Again, it's bred to the pumpkin male, the pumpkin cine male, I should say. So we should have some pretty cool stuff here. Let's see what mama has. Don't bite me, mama. You're okay. Looks like a pretty good clutch. We have one little slugger on this side. Oh, take that back. Two little sluggers. And mama looks like she's not happy. That's okay, mom. You're all right. You're all right. You're okay, baby. So we'd go ahead and get these eggs really quick. Get this egg out of here. Get this egg. Looks like we're gonna have to candle this egg because it looks like it probably rolled a little bit. Then we'll get these last eggs. All right, and get these eggs in here. Again, a beautiful clutch. That pumpkin gene is absolutely incredible. So I'm super excited about this one. Again, the Enchi and the Woma mixed in with. Could be doing some cool stuff. You never know when you're working with the new gene how it's gonna interact. So I'm excited about that. There's two, four, six, eight beautiful eggs. A couple sluggers. So these guys are just gonna add to that pumpkin gene. I think we have one more clutch that's coming up to be cut any day too. So uh, pretty soon we'll be able to see the second clutch of pumpkins. And that's pretty exciting. How good did this enclosure turn out? I mean, I'm telling you what, that is amazing. Again, I definitely want to get Tanner from Serpent Design. Of course, I want to get Will Nace here and have them do some enclosures. But Jessica, I think she's got it, man. She's doing really good. Those guys are legends, don't get me wrong. But she's doing a great job. And when this entire room is built out with enclosures like this, it is going to be amazing. And that's going to happen just in the next two to three weeks. This entire room will be done. Every enclosure is going to look like this. It's going to be absolutely spectacular. Hold them. Hold them on the shelf. You can hold them literally with one hand. Just cut them a little bit and he should just eat. They do need their nails clipped often, especially because we'll be holding them. Mike, I have to sit next to you. Bro, he makes the biggest mess. Alrighty. How cute is this guy? How cute is this right now, me and you? I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about this little tongue. Look, he's going inside the hole. 
Mikey. Oh, wait. Oh, Mike, wait. you have to put it closer to him so he doesn't feel like he has to struggle. I'm sorry, I've never fed a mammal before. A mammal? Oh, well, yeah, I guess that is true. You've only ever fed yourself? You yeah, have but a I girlfriend? Like you, don't, you don't feed your girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. That's really it. Um, We kind of got, oh, let me just get this last Dude, one. Dude, he is good. Okay. Molly. So there you have it. Alrighty. Okay, good job, Mike. Now you put him on your shoulder and burp him. Wait, no, he's got all over his face. He does. Oh. Let him let him do the nose thing to you. <laughs> oh my god! He thought there was food on there. Let him do it again. Oh my god! All right. And Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, can you do me a favor, please? Can you go ahead and hit a couple of these videos here in this playlist? On this side, you could do me another favor. You could subscribe to this vlog channel. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember. Be kind to somebody, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.